praise the Lord. Well, glory. Well, how's everyone today? It is an honor to be with you guys once again. My name is Pastor Larry. Glory to God. Amen. So let's, let us stand up and let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that you have given us to come together one more time. And we thank you, Lord God, that your word will go forth today without any hindrances of any force of any kind. Your name will be glorified, Father, because, God, we do put our trust in you, the ever-living, everlasting God of all creation. We thank you, Lord God, for you being who you are in our life today. We give you praise and we give you glory for it. Holy Spirit, we invite you into this place right now. We ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will move supernaturally upon the airways and minister to the heart of your people. Let your name be glorified, Father. And Father, I thank you in advance in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Well, glory to God. We started this message on a uh, uh, couple weeks ago. Trusting in the Lord. Amen. It's your way up. How many of you know that God wants you to rise to the next level? Amen. Well, sometimes there's an enemy that is working overtime trying to keep you down, trying to push you down. But God has made a way for us to not allow ourselves to be pushed down. He said to put our trust in him. Amen. In other words, he don't want us to uh, lean to our own understanding, to our own abilities, to our own wisdom, to our own way of doing things. He wants us to put our trust in him because it's in him that we live and move and have our being. Amen. So today, as we minister along this line, I'm asking you to consider putting your trust in the Lord. Amen. You might be in a situation right now and you, and you, and you it just like you seem like there's no way out. Well, I know that there's a devil that is working overtime trying to destroy you. That's his job. His job is to steal, kill, and to destroy. But Jesus' job is that he come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. So today, as we put our trust in the Lord, I want you to just hold fast to the profession of your faith and don't let go of it. Because you see, when you think that there's no way out, God has already gave you a way of an escape. Amen. God has already opened up a door for you to, to be free from that demonic bondage that is trying to come upon you. Amen. When you feel like that, that everything you say something is just like you say the wrong thing, just humble yourself before Almighty God and say, Father, let the meditation of my, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength, my redeemer. Amen. God wants you to be a voice in the land. And he wants his voice to be heard through you. Amen. He wants his voice to be heard through you. And so we have to understand that in order for that to happen, we got to put our trust in him. Because you see, it's in him that we live and move and have our being. It's not in our own abilities. It's in him. Amen. So praise the Lord. Glory to God. I want to uh, just, just uh, sing you a song. Because see, sometimes your back is pushed to the wall. Sometimes you don't know which way to turn. Sometimes you just want to just give up. Sometimes you just want to just throw in a towel. Amen. And say, God, what's the use? There's, I've, I've tried this and I've tried that and nothing is working. You might, and your back is pushed up against the wall and you're looking for a way out. And remember, Jesus said, the word of God says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. So Jesus is the way. Amen. He's your way up out of your circumstances. He's your way up out of your situation. He's your way up out of whatever it is that the devil is trying to do in your life. Amen. Jesus Christ said in John chapter 14 and verse number 1, it said, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, you believe also in me. And in verse 6, he said, he said, 
Glory to God. I'm telling you, God, he's already made the way. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come to the Father but by me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Then he said in verse number 12, he said, The works that I do shall you do also, and greater works than these shall you do, because I go to my Father. Because I go to my Father. Amen. All is well when we put our trust in him. Oh, glory to God. All is well when we put our trust in him. Glory to God. I'm going to sing this song. Amen. I'm going to sing this song. When your back is to the wall, remember his was to the cross. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. He could have walked away. Over the price he chose to pay. And as he looked ahead in time, why, friend, I'm sure you crossed his mind when he heard Pilate say to the hill, take him away. There he paid sins all for cause. With his back to the cross. Now when tears fall like rain and you lose more than you gain. And in your life there is no song. And it seems that all your friends are gone. But when it's all this said and done, friend, you've not lost. Oh, no, but you won. When your back is to the wall, remember his was to the cross. When your back is to the wall, remember his was to the cross. The great lost his victory, and no oh man death, where is your sting? When God gave His only Son, your every battle then was won. So when your back is to the wall, remember His was to the cross. When God gave His only your every battle then was won. So when your back is to the wall, remember his was to the cross. When your back is, is to the wall. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When your back is to the wall, remember his is to the cross. Amen. Well, I want to welcome all you guys that are you that are still coming in. I thank God for you. Amen. Amen. You're just on time, so don't thank you late. You're right on time. Glory to God. Praise God. See, right on time. Yeah. Amen. We're just about to get into the message because I believe that 
we are in the right place at the right time. Amen. And you know, when the enemy comes in like a flood, like a flood, the Lord always raises up a standard. The Lord always raises up a standard. Amen. Now you're talking about uh, warfare. This last week, my friend, we have been through such warfare. It's just unreal. Amen. But it's all because we're obeying God. It's all because we're obeying. If we wasn't obeying God, there wouldn't be no warfare. Amen. But because we're obeying. And by the way, I want to thank all of you for, for praying. All of you that, that heard that SOS in my message on last week. I, I, I thank God for you for all your prayers and and so forth and so on. Amen. It was right on time. I thank God for you. You see, but we, we, we've overcome. Amen. We've overcome. Amen. And we're still standing. Thank Amen. <clears throat> we've overcome and we're still standing. And I want you to, uh, because I know that there are people that are with us from, uh, from different countries. And I want you to uh, prepare your hearts right now because I believe that God has a word for you. Amen. I believe that God has a word for you. So, Prepare your heart to hear from heaven today. Make a decision that no matter what it looked like around you, no matter what you're going through, no matter what the devil is trying to do, just remember that Jesus Christ has already said that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. And just look to him with confidence. Amen. Don't try to work it out in your own strength, your own ability, because, see, this is what the devil wants. He wants you to to depart from trusting in God and want you to lean to your own understanding. God said, lean not to your own understanding. He said, lean not to your own understanding. Amen? And so we want to we want to make sure that we uh, understand what God is saying to us because, you see, when we lean to our own understanding, we're saying, God, I think I can take this on myself. Amen? I can handle this a little bit. When God said, that little bit, it can be your downfall if you don't trust me in it. Amen. It might look like a little bit from a natural, but in the spiritual, it's big. And only I, I am the way. I am the truth, and I am the life. Amen. Put your trust in me, Amen. and you will see your way out is your way up. Amen. Amen. How many of you ready for God to take you up? Amen. 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 You're ready for God to take you up. Because, you see, that's, our, that's why God wants us to put our trust in. Because when we put our trust in, we're on our way up. Glory to God. We're on our way up. Now, I want you to turn your attention to the book of Proverbs, because this is where we are coming from. We started in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3. Proverbs, chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Amen. In Proverbs, chapter 3, and I want us to look at verse number Glory to God. Verse number five. Amen. Verse number five. Yes. And let's read. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Amen. And I like this part right here because, see, this is talking directly to us. Amen. Because, you see, we, have, we, 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 go, we, we prepare ourselves to, to succeed in life. But as we prepare ourselves to succeed in life, we prepare ourselves to trust in our abilities that we have learned and, uh, and the strength that we have obtained so that we know that we won't fall in the process of us uh, taking that step to that next level. Mm -hmm. Amen? But God said, verse number, verse number, notice what he said right here. Notice what he said right here. In verse number five, it says, and lean not to your own strength. Lean not to your own wisdom. Amen. Lean not to your own understanding. Amen. Amen. Lean not to thine own understanding. But notice what it said in verse number 6. In all thy ways. In all thy ways. You see, what we fail to understand that no matter what we are doing, no matter what we are going through, no matter what the enemy is trying to, uh, 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 what he, how he's trying to raise his head up, our trust and our confidence should never be in our abilities, no. in our own abilities. Amen. Because, you see, that means you're taking matters in your own hands. 
And that's not God's plan. That's not God's will for us. He want his He want His will to be implemented in our life. He said in verse number six, and all thy ways acknowledge him or adhere to or trust in, rely on, confidently dependent upon. Who glory to God. Amen. 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 God is looking for a people that will not look to their own way of doing things, but to the way that he has ordained in his word. So he said, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. And I like verse number 7, it says, Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. What does it mean? What does it mean, fear the Lord? It means fear, this is not a, a fear that, that you think that God is going to come and beat you across the head. This is not a fear where you think that, that he's going to come and, and hit you with a stick or, or come at you with a, a weapon. No, this is the fear that, that God is wanting you to use when you come into his presence, a fear of reverence. Mm -hmm. Reverence. Amen? A fear of reverence. Mm -hmm. And so he said, fear the Lord. Verse number, be, 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 not, be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Amen. And depart from evil. Mm -hmm. He said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and seek my face and turn, what? From their wicked, from their wicked ways. He said, depart from evil. Amen? Depart from you. This is what God is looking for in his people. He's looking for them to depart from evil. Amen? Amen. So when we see this, we see that God is speaking to us, and he's, he's showing us that as long as we put our trust in him, he's our vindicator. Amen. He's our real reward. Amen. He got our back. Amen? Amen? He will watch over his word to perform it in our lives. Mm -hmm. But when we take matters in our own hand, we're saying, God, my ways is better than your ways, I, you know, because I don't understand what you're doing. Right. When God knows all the time that his ways is higher than our ways and his thoughts is higher than our thoughts, he knows that what we decide to do in our own abilities that we will never be able to accomplish apart from him. Because he, he, already, he already made it. He's already, he's, we've already experienced that. That's why we have to, that's why we came in from the beginning. Because we couldn't make it on our own. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 is a, is a familiar passage for many. Yeah. We all understand. We all heard this before. We've all read it before. We all have, have, have quoted before. Amen. When you're talking to someone, when you witness to someone, when you, when you, when, when you see they're, they're going through some, some trouble, you never turn your back on them. You always encourage them to trust in the Lord. Am I right about that? That's right. Amen. Amen. So why don't we apply this to our own lives? Amen. When we, we, we know that we love God, but why do not we apply this to our own life? Why do we try to work things out of our own self all the time? Just ask yourself that question. Why do I try to work things out of my own self? Why don't I have confidence that God can do what he said he would do? Amen. I believe that when we can when we can answer that question in our heart, that we will see the hand of God manifesting on our behalf. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Verse 5 is a complimentary par, pair of a, a command. We are told pri, uh, positively to trust in the Lord. We are told positively to trust in the Lord. In other words, he don't, God, well, and, 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 then, and then verse number, then he said, the negative part is it, lean not to your own understanding. That's because if you lean to your own understanding, you, you're not leaning on, you're not putting your trust in God. You're leaning to, you're, you're, leaning, you're leaning to a negative force. But when you're putting your trust in the Lord, you lean into a positive force. Amen? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yes. <coughs> And so when we when we can when we can see that see not not to trust in our own understanding because when we trust in our own understanding we'll lead we'll lead to a, a negative force, amen, mm -hmm. amen. These two things are mutually uh, un, uh, 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 executed. They you you trust with the same heart that you understand with. You understand what I'm saying? And you lean to 
You lean not to your own understanding by putting your trust in Him. Amen? By putting your trust in Him. You cannot depend on your own abilities when you put when you when you trust in God. Amen. You cannot lean on to your own ability when you're trusting God. Your, your own understanding. Amen. Because God understands everything that you're already going through. He already sees it before you even get there. Before it even occur. He already knows that it's coming in, that it's coming, it's coming your way. And he's asking you, and he's asking me, to not to lean to my own understanding in the process of me coming in contact with this what the enemy is trying to bring up before me. He's asking me to not to even give it a second thought. He said, look to me. Look to me with confidence. Know that I am God. And know that my word has the ability to bring about its own fulfillment when you release your faith and believe it. <coughs> Amen. And so when we see that, we know that God is working on our behalf. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 12 says, for now we see in a mirror darkly, but when face to face, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. Amen. So y'all see, are you, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter 13, verse 12. I'm going to read from the, from, the, from the King James Version now. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Let's read. Let, let, here we go, verse 12. For we, for we see through a gas darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I am known. Even as I am known. Amen. So what, what we see here, we only see part of the picture that God sees concerning our lives. Amen. We only see a part of it. God sees the whole thing. He sees everything that you're going to go through. He sees your family members. He sees your loved ones. He sees everything that concerns you. There's nothing about you that he doesn't see. He created you. He knows everything that, that bothers you, it bothers him because his love for you. Amen. Don't you believe that? Yes, I believe that. Amen. Amen. Everything that concerns you concerns him. Why? Because he loves you. And you have, some, you have surrendered your life to him. And so he's obligated himself to perform his word in your life. To bring you to a, a, a place of hope. Amen. Amen. To give you an, an expected end. Amen. He, 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 he's not asking you to come to him so he can harm you. His plan and purpose for you is to, is to bless you and to prosper you. To give you hope and an expected end. But when you look to your own self. When you look to your own ability. When you try to say God. Well I can do this myself. And I'm not going to. This is too small to bother you about. Amen. You're going to get it and you're going to mess it up then you're going to wish you had a insulted God. Consulted God. Not insult him, but consult him. <laughs> consult him concerning that issue. Amen. Because you see, he already knows what to download in you in order to break, help you to see yourself how to get through that situation. Just like when you're looking for something on the computer, you have to download something. You have to go download the the, 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 the information in order to bring out that, 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 that portion of information that you need for your documents. Amen. So you have to down, God's going to download to you everything that you need to overcome the adversary. Amen. So you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid. Glory to God. You don't have to be afraid. See, we only see in part. We only see part of the picture. A God's plan, a God's plan that He has planned for our life. Amen. We only see part of it. Glory to God. If we are, if we are to fully trust Him, we have to let go of our pride. Oh, Pastor, but you don't understand. My 
my, my wife says she's so proud of me, the way I'm carrying out things, and, and, you know, and, and, my, and on my job, they said they're so proud. I got to hold on to my pride. No, you don't need to hold on to your pride. You need to be humble. You need to be humble. But you don't understand. This is, this is who I am. Yet, and because that's who you are, you're going to hurt yourself. Amen. You need to humble yourself so that God can exalt you. Okay, so we, need to, so we, have, to let, we have to put away the pride. Amen. Because the pride is, is, help, is, is keeping our program open before our eyes instead of God's program. Amen. Y'all understand what I just said? Amen. Pride Amen. keeps your program before you. Amen. It keeps your desires before you. Amen. Instead of God's desires. Amen. Instead of God's program. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So we have, to, we have to humble ourselves. Amen. We have to let God's program be seen in our life. Amen. Even the best, even the, even, even the best uh, leading men, uh, he, had, he can't, I don't care how strong he is, or how educated he is, or how uneducated he is, if he have, if he's going to accomplish anything in this life that's going to, that's going to uh, produce uh, good results, it's going to come through him humbling himself, leaning not to his own understanding, following after the will of God for his life. Trusting in the Lord with all his heart. Why? Because that's his way up. That's his way up. He know that the he know that the, the forces of darkness is working overtime against him, and he know that he's no match for them alone. So he's going to have to do what? Put his trust in who? In God. Because that's his way up. And some of you right now, you 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 look at it, you deal with situations, you deal with circumstances, you deal with health issue, issues, and you trying to you trying to work it out in your own self. And God said, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. Amen. Amen. And He will exalt you in due time. God will exalt you. Amen. Even I'm telling you now. Because you see, God's plan began. How do we got? How do we got? We got. We got to approach God's plan, knowing that our dependency is totally in Him. We can't approach God's plan trying to manipulate God to do what we think He ought to do. Amen. We got to approach God knowing that. The plan that he has purpose for our life is what he's going to manifest in our life. Amen. It's what he's going to manifest in our life. Amen. Because, see, God, God is he, he's sovereign. He's omnipotent. He's all-knowing. And he's all-powerful. Amen. Most of us have a, have a desperate desire to understand how to put our trust in the Lord. We want to put our trust in the Lord. But so many of us don't know how to put our trust in the Lord. Amen. But you see, it's easy. It's easy. But in, in, in many areas of our life, we, have to, we, we must acknowledge that we cannot understand God's plan for our life. And, we have, we have, and when we yield to him, we say, Father, I, I see in part what you want me to do. But God, I really don't understand it. And so if any man, the Bible said, if any man lack wisdom... Let him ask Amen. of God. Amen. 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 Let him ask of God. Amen. Who do what? Who give it to every man liberally and upbraideth not. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So when we ask God concerning his plan for us, yeah. then we don't have to try to implement his plan for us yeah. on our own. Yeah. We can get his plan yeah. and a, a, a stand on his promises because his plan and His promises are there to help us to succeed, help us to, to overcome, to help us to walk above the circumstances, to help us to make it even in the midst of the storms. Amen. We can walk right on the water. Amen. We can walk right on the water. And even in the, 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 when 
the death has come against your flesh through flesh eating disease, Jesus will still look down upon you and say, I will be thou clean. Mm -hmm. Even when you don't understand where you wh which way to go, Jesus said, I am the way up out of your situation. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we put our trust in him, when we stop trying to work it out our own self. I know, and I know that the devil, he's going to do everything he can to keep you from focusing. But you got to learn to focus your attention on the things that concern God. The things that's on his heart. Because those are the things that your heart should be focused on. If you're going to succeed, then you must realize that God's purpose and God's plan for your life is to bless you, to prosper you, to give you hope and an expected end. Not to harm you, but to give you hope and an expected end. God has already prepared the angels to go before you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> He's already prepared the angel to go before you. But you got to trust that angel. Because he carried the name of God in him. Woo, glory to God. Amen. We are on our way, folks, to the promised land. Are you ready? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We are on our way to the promised land. Amen. God is bringing us to a place where we can see ourselves as he sees us. We must approve of God's way. We must approve of God's way. In other words, we have to accept it by faith. You may not understand God's way. But you've got to approve it and you have to accept it by faith. Why? Because you see, it won't operate, it won't manifest until you accept it, until you acknowledge it, until you walk, begin to walk in it. Amen? God wants you to take the full responsibility of putting your trust in Him. So we must approve of God's ways even when we can't comprehend it. Even when we can't comprehend it, we still have to say, God, I don't, you know what, Father, I really don't understand what you're doing, but you know what? It's this, this is your plan. I'm in agreement with it. In other words, I approve it. I'm in agreement with it. So, Father, if this is what you want to do, I'm in all the way. Mm -hmm. I'm in all the way. Amen. I'm going to walk with you. Amen. I'm going to trust you, and I'm going to, I'm going to follow after you as you lead me. Because the Holy Spirit has come to do what? To lead us and to guide us into all truth. And to show us things to come. Everything that we need to know concerning what God is doing for us in this hour is all boils down to us looking to Him with confidence. With confidence. Sure, there is an enemy that is trying that is competing for your attention. But do you have to give him your attention? Amen. Now, sometimes it's hard. I know for a fact. Amen. Because sometimes when the enemy raises up his head, you want to you want to launch back out. You don't want to you don't want to give up. You don't want to give up your ground. You want to stand your ground. Amen. And and the devil know that if you continue to do that, that you're going to be defeated. Because it's not going. You're not going to overcome that enemy until you humble yourself Amen. and submit to the will of God. You can fuss, you can fight about it all day and all night long, but until you surrender your will to the will of God and submit your will to the will of God, you will be overcome by that spirit of darkness that's trying to interfere with your life. But the moment you acknowledge, God, I can't make it without you. God, I need you. Jesus, you are my Lord. You are my deliverer. For you are the... When you, you, for this is the purpose that the Son of God was manifest to destroy the works of the devil. Lord, I trust you with all my heart. Lord, I believe in you. Thank you for setting me free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. So when we put out, when we, when we tell God how much we love Him and that we trust Him, you know what God's going to do? God's going to, God is going to, He's going to take you, and he's going to love on you. Amen. Look at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, since we're here. 
before we go to another area. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Now look at verse number 25. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse number 25. It said, because the foolishness of God is wiser than what? Than men. Mm -hmm. The foolishness of God is wiser than men. And the, the weakness of God is stronger than men. Amen. <clears throat> Can y'all understand what I'm saying now? Because yes. you see, as long as we try to do it in ourselves, we, we, have, we, we still uh, don't meet. We still don't, we, we still, we still not able to, to stand up against that, that, that enemy. Amen. But when we look at the way God is saying it right here in verse number 25, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse number 25, he said, because the foolishness of God is wiser than man. Amen. And the weakness of God is stronger than man. Glory to God. Y'all need to meditate upon that. Because when you, start to, when you start trying to work things out in your own self, when you try to take matters in your own hand, you need to remember, if I put my trust in God, then I can, this scripture would be applied to my life because God's weakness is stronger than my strength. Amen? Even No matter how strong I am, His, his weakness is still stronger than mine. Amen? And his, his, and his wisdom is a whole lot greater than mine. Because he's all-knowing. He's all-knowing. Amen? So God is showing us that our trust in him is so important in this time. Because, you see, God is ready to do some, some things. Amen? And the enemy is trying to interfere. How many of you have had, had some struggles this week? Alone because of because you've been praying and fasting and yeah. seeking the face of God. Amen. Amen. I know you have because I have. That's why I put out. That's why I told the people, please pray for me because Amen. I knew that during that time of fasting and the way I was praying for the for the body of Christ and the way I was praying for the uh, uh, Jerusalem and for the, the president of the United States, the way I was praying, I knew that the enemy was going to come in because the the witchcraft that is working overtime trying to destroy our government. Mm -hmm. They are still out there, folks. Mm -hmm. And you know what they call themselves? Mm -hmm. The children of the witches that they did not burn. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. They're still out there. Mm -hmm. And they're still working, trying to overthrow yeah. the government because they, the devil, want his way. Thank God for men of God that are praying for our men and women of God that are praying for our government. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I don't believe that. I believe that every witch that was in the in the White House has already been exposed and dealt with. Amen. Every warlock that was in the White House, I believe they're already gone. Amen. 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 God is in the business of bringing the body of Christ. To a place of peace. Amen. Amen. That's why we got to trust him folks. Amen. That's why we got to trust the Lord with all our heart. Yes. Because he's going to bring us to a place. Where our voice will be heard. In the land. Oh, yes. Once Amen. again. Amen. The church is going to be feared once again. Yes. The church is going to be feared. In the land once again. Amen. Before Jesus comes. You'll see. God is not a man that he shall lie. Nor the son of man, he should repent. Amen. Amen. No matter how strong the enemy is, God is stronger. Amen. And greater is he that is in you, or in me, than he that is in the world. No weapon formed against you will prosper. Yes. Yes. Because your confidence is not in yourself. Your Confidence is not in your abilities. No. Your confidence is in the one who has called you out of darkness Hallelujah. into his marvelous light. And everything that the devil has meant for evil, God is turning it around Hallelujah. for his glory. Thank you, Lord. You're in a good place.
peace right now, especially if you are going through uh, uh, difficulties because of your stand for Christ or stand for righteousness. You're in a good place because you see when you're standing and the, and, and, and the Bible says heaven's doing all to stand, stand therefore having your Lord gird about with the truth. When you're standing in the truth of God's word, God will back that word. God said in Mark, in, in Mark chapter 16 and verse 20, he will confirm the word with signs following. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So folks, we have a, we have a, we, we're in a good place. Amen. We're in a good place. Amen. When the adversary is, is working overtime, trying to overthrow you, trying to stop you from, from standing, trying to stop you from, uh, from, 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 from going forth to do what God has called you to do, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it might seem like you might be a small yeah. speck in this earth. Mm -hmm. But on the inside, you're big. Amen. Because the God of all creation is on the inside of you. Yes. Glory to God. Glory. 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 Amen. Amen. And when you see yourself that way, you see yourself more than a conqueror. Amen. As Joel Osteen always said, you're not a, a victim, you're a victor. Yeah. <laughs> you're not a victim. You are a victor. You are overcomer. You got to encourage yourself in the Lord. You got to stand fast on God's word and, and, and declare that I am walking in divine health. No sickness or disease shall come upon my body and live. I declare it shall die instantly. Every virus, every germ touching my body has to die instantly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I am the body of Christ. And Satan has no power over me, for I will come evil with good. I put my trust not in my circumstances. I put my trust in the Lord. Because when I put my trust in the Lord, I'm on my way up. Glory to God. I'm on my way up. Glory to God. I'm on my way up. When the devil goes working against your mind, and you know that, that you are doing what God has called you to do, you best believe that you are becoming a threat. You are becoming a threat to the kingdom of darkness. And he's trying to get you to a place where you, where you begin to be more focused on him rather than on the assignment. Amen. So you need to understand. You need to understand, folks, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're experiencing, don't never, do not ever, never, 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 ever get your eyes off of Jesus Christ because he has already showed you that he was the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6. And he said in verse number 1, John 14, let not your heart be troubled. Yes, Let not your heart be troubled. Glory to God. Amen. You got to see yourself rising above the circumstances. Amen. You can't allow the enemy to speak to your heart and to your head and you give in to it. You might play with it for a little while, but you better hurry up and recognize that this is not coming from God. And you better repent of it. You better ask God to forgive you for yielding to his enemy. And God not only will forgive you, he will make it as though you have never yielded. Amen. Because when he forgives you, sister, you're forgiven. Amen. It's not something that you're going to have to uh, keep remembering. Amen. And I know most of us when we make a mistake, our greatest problem is forgiving ourselves. We know that we did this. We know we, did, we know we did wrong. But our greatest problem, our greatest struggle is forgiving ourselves. God knows that the problem exists. It's not yours. He knows that the enemy has tried to deceive you. And he knows that his purpose and his plan for your life 
It's a whole lot greater than what you are experiencing. God wants to bring you to a place where you will be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. He wants you to be a lender and not a borrower. He said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither, my ways, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heaven are higher than the earth, so are my ways, glory to God, than your ways. Mm -hmm. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yes, amen. 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 Yes. yes. God wants us to experience His supernatural breakthrough so that we can share it with those around us, that we can encourage them, that we can help them to understand that God is still in control. Mm -hmm. That God Amen. is still in control. Amen. So let's look at verse uh, Isaiah 50, 50, 58. Isaiah 55, I mean, verse 8. Isaiah 55, verse 8. I just quoted the scripture, but I figured I should just take you to it and read it. Amen. Because I want y'all to, to take Amen. these scriptures, because if you take Amen. these scriptures and, and meditate upon these scriptures, you'll be able to uh, get the full benefit of the, the message God is giving us. Notice what it said in verse number 8. For, oh, ki God out of our side. Now, let's, can we start at verse number 7? Can we start at verse number 7? Because you see... Because this is dealing with uh, this is dealing with a renewed mind, amen. This is dealing with a renewed mind, and and as you and, and as you come to this place, you begin to uh, see yourself the way God sees you. He said, "Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and let and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God for." He will abundantly pardon. Who's going to do the pardon? God, God. is going to Amen. abundantly pardon. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. That's why it's so important that we lean not to our own understanding. How God is going to pardon us, we're still trying to do it in our own way. Amen. So it said, so it said verse number 8, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways your ways, said the Lord. For as the heaven are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen? Than my thoughts Amen. than your thoughts. So when we look at this, we can see that God is showing us that it all begins when we begin to think properly. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. When we begin to think properly and begin to see that what God is saying from a spiritual standpoint, and not just from a natural standpoint. Because you see, we are created in His image and after His likeness. We are a spirit. We are capable and able to, to communicate with God from a spiritual standpoint. And not only are we able to, minister, to, to minister, communicate with God from a spiritual standpoint, we are able to communicate in this, in this earthly realm from a spiritual standpoint. Mm -hmm. Because that's who we are. We are a spirit, we have a soul, and we live in His body. Amen? So, when we, when we understand that, we can see that what God is doing, what God is saying, in the name of Jesus, God, I receive that right now. Glory to God. Amen? So when we see that, you'll see the hand of God is moving on our behalf. It's moving on our behalf. So when we, when we see that He thought, how that thought, to trust in the Lord, to trust in the Lord with all our heart means that we can place our own rights our own right to understand above, it means that we, we can't place our own right to understand above his right. But when we begin to understand, when we, when we humble ourselves, amen, so we can't place our own right to understand above his right, to direct our lives. Amen. amen. Glory to God. We can't, we, can't, we can't allow what God is saying to us to bring us to a place that we would be more trusting in our own abilities than the abilities of God. Amen? 
So we see here that he said, for, for as, the, as the heavens are higher than, my, than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. Amen. And my thoughts than your thoughts. God sees whose picture, God sees the whole picture. Not whose picture, but the whole picture. You see, there's nothing about your life that he doesn't see. There's nothing about my life that he doesn't see. He sees the whole picture. He sees what the enemy is trying to do. He sees what the enemy has done. But he's also watching you. Are you going to look at the circumstances that you have, uh, that you have encountered? Or are you going to look to him with confidence? You see, because God is saying, if you trust me with all your heart, I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to lift you up above that circumstance that is trying to press you down. I will bring healing to your household if you trust me. I will bring deliverance to your, to your children if you trust me. I will cause you to, to rise up and to see yourself the head and not the tail if you would trust me. I will cause you to see yourself blessed and not cursed if you would trust me. I will cause you to see yourself prosperous and not broke if you trust me. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. See, we have been so programmed to see ourselves the way the world wants us to see ourselves instead of looking at ourselves the way God had created us to see ourselves. When we can see ourselves the way God created us to see ourselves, we see ourselves as the head and not the tail. We are see ourselves as above and not beneath. We see ourselves blessed above all nations of the earth and not cursed. Amen. Mm. Because the God that we serve, folks, he's the God of all creation. He's not the God of California. He's not the God of Alabama. He's not the God of Louisiana only. He's the God of the heavens and the God of the earth. The whole heaven and the whole earth. Yes. And all of us are his creation. He created us in his own image and after his likeness. Amen. And everything that God has planned for you to receive this day is his to give you right now. Hallelujah. You've got to trust him. You've got to look beyond your circumstances. You've got to hold up the bloodstained banner. You've got to. Because you see, your way up out of your situation is trusting in him. It's trusting in him. He is the way. He is the truth. Yes. He is the life. Amen. And no man can come to the Father Amen. but by Him. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. 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 When we insist on God's ways making, making sense to our uh, 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 infinite... See, God is infinite. His wisdom is, un, is, un, is unsearchable. Yes. Amen? Yes. His ways... Uh, are, are much higher than our ways. We can't, we can't understand his ways to the fullest. But glory to God, God sees the whole picture. While, while, we, only can, while we can only see a corner, while we can only see a portion, yes, amen. God sees the whole picture. Yes. He sees what your, what your daughter is going through. He sees what your son is going through. He sees what your husband or what your wife is experiencing. God sees the pain that you have experienced because of the, 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 the attacks that have come against your household, your family, your loved ones. But God also knows that unless you trust him, whatever it is that is coming against you will overtake you. Because you're trying to work it out in your own strength. Your only way out of this situation is to trust him with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. And in all your ways acknowledge him and he 
shall direct your path. God will show you your way out of your situation. He will show you that the peace of God that's a passive all understanding will begin to rest upon you and keep your heart. No matter what it is, folks. No matter what it is. Your way out of your situation is trusting in the Lord your God. And I'm talking to you by the internet also. You might think that you can't make it. I want to tell you like this. You've already made it. You've already made it. You're an overcomer. Because you're still standing. Amen. Now if you want to see those around you to stand. You want to see those that are hurting of your household to stand. Mm -hmm. Then just go to God as a little child. Father. <coughs> I've lived this life. And I thought that I could do it my own way. And I never considered putting my trust in you. I never considered just giving you my whole undivided attention. But today, Father, I understand that my trust in you is my way up out of my situation. The storms of life that is bombarding my mind, my will, my emotions, my understanding... I know, Lord God, my only way up is putting my trust in you. No, I understand, Lord God, that the wind will blow and we hear the sound thereof and we can't tell which way it comes or which way it goes, but I know my only way up is with you. My only way up is with you. We're not going to look at the situation. We're not going to look at the circumstances. We're not going to look at what, what the enemy is trying to do, but we're going to look at... What we're going to look at, God, we're going to look to you. Because you are the way. You are the truth. You are the life. And no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Because we are not looking at our own way. We're looking to you. We're looking to you. And God, you're going to lead us. And you're going to guide us into all truth. And you're going to show us things to come. The weapon that the enemy has used against my family, Father, will never succeed. Because the greater one that lives in me is greater than he that is coming against me. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God, we trust you. We love you, Father. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Don't y'all allow your circumstances to hold you down. The God that you serve is greater than your circumstances. Don't allow your, the, the sickness that your family's experiencing cause depression to come upon you. Begin to call upon the God who sent his word to heal your, 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 your diseases and to deliver you from the spirit of destruction. And trust him with your whole heart. Because the God that we serve, he's a consuming fire. Yes, yes. And what the devil has did to try to destroy you, he, you, because you're still alive, because you're still up and running around, because you're still walking, that shows you that he don't have power over you. The God that called you, he is the same God that can deliver you that can heal you, that can bring you to a place of hope and an expected end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, glory to God. Yes, yes. My time is up. My time is up. Glory to God. Who? Glory to God. God said, trust me. No matter what you're going through, he said, trust me. No matter what it looked like, he said, trust me. No matter what the doctor said, he said, trust me. No matter how the, the situation looked, no matter how far it is gone, just God says, said, trust me. Trust me. And he said, I am the God 
that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. You sent your word and healed my disease. I am the Lord, your healer. I am the God that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. You sent your word and healed my disease. I am the Lord, your healer. For thou, O Lord, art high above all the Thou art exalted far above all gods. For Thou, O Lord, art high above all the earth, and Thou art exalted far above all gods. And we exalt thee. We exalt thee. We exalt thee. Oh, Lord, We put our trust in you today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Holy, holy. God of power and might, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. are filled with your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the high Just worship him right now. Just worship him. Just worship him. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. You that are with us by the internet, just worship. Worship right now. Just worship right now. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. She came out. For he is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead. And he is Lord. Every knee shall bow. And every confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He was wounded for our transgressions and he was bruised for our iniquity. Surely he bore our sorrows, and with his stripes we are healed. As fear and doubt come against your life, and your faith been sorely tried, just lift up your eyes. For here comes your help. It is Jesus and for you. He has died. So rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. Just let faith arise in your soul. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. He will quench you and make you whole. And then, and then by faith, you just reach out and touch him. And you know that Jesus will hear your every plea and he he will respond to that cry that's deep in your heart he will cleanse you and he will make you whole so rise and be healed in the name of Jesus just let faith Arise in your soul, rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. He will cleanse you and make you whole. Father, I pray for every man and woman right now that is sick. I come against the spirit of infirmity, sickness, and disease right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind the spirit of infirmity. I bind the spirit of sickness. I bind the spirit of disease right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I release the anointing to lift the burdens and destroy the yokes right now in Jesus' name. And I declare that by the stripes of Jesus that we are healed in Jesus' name. And Father... I thank you, and I praise you, and I glorify you. I declare that it is done now. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Mm. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, glory. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you all for joining us today. Amen. We're going to... Uh, Amen. Amen. We're gonna go ahead and close. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have communion today. Y'all wanna have communion with us? You with us by line? If you wanna take communion with us right now? I want you to go and get your uh, communion elements right now. Your juice, your cracker. Amen. Amen your Amen. Or what you take for your communion? Amen. And we're gonna to prepare to take communion right now. We just give it five, ten more, five to ten more minutes, and we'll be out of here. Okay.
Final table minute. We'll be out of here. Amen. But it's communion day. This is the first Sunday's communion day. And I want to, we're going to do it. We're going to be quick with it. We're not going to prolong it. We're not going to prolong it. We're going to just take it. Amen. We're going to uh, just, just, just honor God today. Amen. Even in communion. Amen. Because you know in communion, God's healing power is manifest even in communion. Amen. Yeah, we're going to take offering also. So those of you that are going to be giving offering today, go ahead and prepare your offering right now. You that's going to be given by the internet, go to my website, labbergenministries.com, and there you may uh, plant your seed, amen. If you believe in God for a miracle, if you believe in God for a breakthrough, amen, if you believe in God for a breakthrough, then I'm encouraging you right now to uh, go and uh, to my website, labbergenministries.com, plant your seed today, amen, and believe God. I'm telling you, you need to, you need to just trust God today. You need to just trust Him today. You need to do something like you never did before to show God that you trust Him. Amen. You need to sow a seed today and trust God today. Amen. And then, uh, and then uh, those of you that are going to send it in through the mail, remember my website, my, my address, my mailing address is Larry Burkett Ministries at P.O. Box 417913, Sacramento, California, 95841. Again, that's Larry Burkett Ministries, P.O. Box Four one seven nine one three Sacramento, California, 95841. So as you prepare your offering right now, we're going to believe that God has already spoken to your heart, and that you're going to plant a, a, that seed that God has placed upon your heart, and you're going to do it by faith because God has a blessing in store for you. Amen. God has a blessing in store for you. Amen. So as you get your offering together, the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, chapter, chapter uh, 9 verse 6, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse number 6, it says, hold on a minute, please. But this I say, he which soweth bountifully, he that which soweth bountifully shall also reap bountifully. He that soweth bountifully shall also reap bountifully. Every man, according as he purposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace, say all grace, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you always have an all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Amen. See, God wants to bring you to a place of hope and expect it in. Amen. The Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to pray now over your offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over this offering, Father. I declare that this offering, Father, has been raised for the upbuilding of your kingdom. And Father, to Father, the work that you've given us here in Sacramento, California. Father, I bless this offering. And I ask you, Father, to multiply it back in the lives of your people who have given today, Lord God. And Father, I ask you to let it come back good measure, press down, shake together, and run it over. Father, that men should give back into their life, back into their bosom, a uh, hundredfold, a hundred, a thousand times more, Lord God. I'm calling back into the life a thousand times more than they have given. In Jesus' name, I thank you for it. I bless them. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. amen. Glory to God. Set it right there. Amen. Now, as we get ready for communion, go back with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. This is going to be quick. We're not going to prolong the time because uh, uh, we got, it's, I, have a, a, I have to go to the hospital in a few. Amen. So I want you to get this done. I got to go to the hospital and pray for someone. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So right here in, in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse number 23 said, for I, for I received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take ye, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took the cup, and he took the cup when he had supped, saying, "This cup is the new testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show forth the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup." of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Let's examine our hearts right now. Yes. 
Let's examine our hearts right now. I don't know what you've been going through, but God knows. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we shut down everything, Father, we're just going to set ourselves quiet before you and examine our hearts. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Let's just examine our hearts. You that are with the body on it, you do the same thing. Examine your heart. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Forgive us all, Lord God, of our sin. Let everybody say this with me right now because we're going to take communion. And we want to, we want to know that our hearts have been clear. Say this prayer with me. Say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I believe today because I've asked you, my sins are forgiven. And now, and now, I believe, I believe that if I would die today, I will spend eternity with you. I won't have to wonder about that. I don't have to worry about that. Today, I know I will spend eternity with you. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. My God, the Holy Ghost is in this place today. Amen. So he says right here, he says right here in verse number, verse number, uh, I'm going to read this verse one more time. Chapter 11 and verse number 20, 28 says, But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eat it and drink it unworthily, eat it and drink it damnation to himself. That's why we get silent. And that's why we ask, we ask God to reveal to our hearts if we did anything that we need to repent of. Amen. We get our hearts clear before God that when we take communion, we're doing it in the right frame of mind with the right heart. Amen. So that God will receive it. Amen. And verse, verse number 30 said, For this cause men are weak and sickly among you. When people take it the wrong way, they are hurting themselves. They don't understand it, but they are hurting themselves. And that's why we do this, folks that we will uh, be in right standing when we take communion, we be in right standing with God. And he said, men are weak and men, men, and men are sleep. Men are weak and sickly among you and men are sleep. Amen. What does that mean? People die prematurely when they disregard what God is saying in his word. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's concerning his communion because this is holy. This is sacred. Yes. Yes. This is very sacred. This is not something we play with. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then it said in verse 31, 31 said, If we would judge ourselves, we will not be judged. We should not be judged. So when we judge ourselves, we say, Father, I'm judging myself. I'm acknowledging. I'm acknowledging my 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 my, my sin. And I'm judging myself. Amen. Amen. And when I do that, God forgives us. Pass it. That's okay, yeah. This is the body of our blood of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ, which was broken for you. This is the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who was shed for the redemption. Amen. Amen. Now y'all remain standing for a minute or so and we all gonna take communion together. We're gonna bless it, we're gonna sanctify it now you that are with us by the internet, I hope you have your elements ready right now. 
This is the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. When, when Pontius Pilate sent Jesus to the courtyard to be beaten, his body was broken open. Every time that lash went across his back, his body was broken open. That his wound, he was wounded for our transgressions, and he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Amen. So we are about to receive healing today through the communion. How many of you need God to touch your body today? Amen. So let us remember that Jesus Christ has already paid the price through the stripes that went across his back for our healing. Let us receive our healing today. Let us eat today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Oh, we worship you. Thank you for your healing power, Father, that is manifesting right now. Ah, oh, yes, Lord. Thank you for your healing power that is manifesting right now. In Jesus' name. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Mm. Receive your healing by faith right now. Receive it by faith. There's an anointing flowing right now. Receive the healing by faith. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This, this drink represents the blood of Jesus Christ, which was shed for the remission of our sin. As by one man sin into the world, so death by sin, so death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. And one man, blood, cleanses us from all sin. And his name is Jesus Christ. When we partake of this, we say, Jesus, I believe that when you came into this earth, you laid down your life for my sin. Not only did you lay your life down for my sin, but because of that, I'm able to stand before God as a man or woman without sin. Restoration to our hearts is available today. Let's receive restoration right now. Let us drink. Father, thank you for restoring us to right fellowship with you. Thank you, Lord God, that our life, our walk with you has been restored. And that we see ourselves as you see us. We are not moved by situations or circumstances. But we put our total confidence and our trust fully, totally dependent upon you. Thank you for it, Father. Amen and amen. Well, glory to God. Amen. If anybody here that needs to have a special prayer request, have a special prayer request right now, I'm going to pray for you right now. You have a special prayer request, I'm going to pray for you right now. Alex, your husband, okay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I'm thanking you, Father, right now that the people are still looking to you with confidence. And they're putting their trust in you, Lord God, with their whole heart. And they're believing, Father, for a miracle. She's asking for a, a miracle in her husband's health. Father, her husband's name is Alex. You know this man. You see this man. There's nothing about him that you don't know. You see his life, Father, his lifestyle that he lived. And Father, I know that even now, God, you can resurrect, you can restore, you can deliver, you can heal. Even now. So, Father, as she stands in agreement, as I stand in agreement with my sister for her husband, I declare, Father, that she is, that he is touched right now. 
The Spirit of God is touching him right now. And your name is being glorified, Father. In Jesus' name, I thank you for it. And I bless you for it. In Jesus' name. Now, Father, I rebuke that sickness. I rebuke that disease. I rebuke it right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that liver disease. I rebuke it right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. I command it to go. I command it to go in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you, and I bless you for it. Amen. 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 Just trust him. Trust him. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, that your hand continue to rest upon my sister. And Lord God, that everything, God, that the enemy has meant for evil, Lord God, shall be turned around for your glory. Father, I thank you for divine health and healing. It belongs to her, Father, for she is your child. And she's a tither. So, Father, grant it to her. In Jesus' name, I give you glory for it. Amen. 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 Vladimir. Vladimir. Father, in the name of Jesus, as she stand in the gap for her husband for salvation, God, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus because, Father, as long as he's alive, there's still a chance. And I'm asking, Father, that you will put someone in his path that are able to minister to him. Father, that will, that will get his undivided attention, that he will begin to repent, that he will begin to acknowledge Jesus Christ as the Son of God, and that, Lord God, that he will invite you into his heart right now. I claim his soul, Vladimir, I claim his soul for the kingdom of God right now in Jesus' name. Father, let the angels right now begin to minister to his heart in the name of Jesus. Vladimir, come forth. I said, come forth, Vladimir, Vladimir. Come forth now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. You believe? Amen. Glory to God. It's okay. It's good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. That's right. Slava to back us for. Slava gospel. Anybody else want prayer? Amen. Okay, then that's good. Then let's, start, let's stand up. Let's go home. Amen. Father, we thank you for this time together. We thank you for the people that have joined us to, by the internet and those that are coming to be with us today, Father. And Lord, we ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will watch over your word to perform it according as you have said. And God, let not your people put their confidence in their own abilities, but let them put their trust in you. Even as I, Lord God, I put my trust in you confidently trust you with my whole heart, spirit, soul, and body, mind, will, and emotion. I humble myself before your mighty hand, Lord, that you may exalt me in due time. And I thank you for it. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for praying for us last week. Oh, last week I really needed it. And I thank God that you guys came to, to, uh, to stand in the gap for me as I always stand in the gap for you. And, and, and it really... It, it, I, I, I survived. I made it. I'm still here. Glory to God. Amen. And thank God for you. I'm going to be praying for you this week. Remember Thursday and Friday, we're going to be praying three times a day as a corporate prayer. But don't forget, you got all week long, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that you still got to pray too. Only on Thursday and Friday, we come together with corporate prayer as intercessors. Amen. God bless you. May God keep you until then. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye.